ഹലോ ഫ്രണ്ട്സ് ദിസ് ഇസ് എ സോണി തേർട്ടി ടു ഇഞ്ച് എൽ സി ഡി ടി വി ഹിയർ ദ കംപ്ലൈൻറ്റ് ഈസ് വിത്ത് ദി പാനൽ ഹിയർ ദ ഇഷ്യൂ ഈസ് റിലേറ്റഡ് ടു ദി ഗാമ ഐ സി ഇൻ ദി ടീ കോൺ ബോർഡ് ദ കംപ്ലൈൻറ്റ് ഈസ് വൈറ്റ് ഷെയ്ഡിങ് പിക്ചർ ആൻഡ് എൽ വി ഡി എസ് മാപ്പിംഗ് ഇഷ്യൂ ഇറ്റ് കോസിംഗ് ദി ഗോസ്റ്റ് ഇമേജ് ഓൺ ദി ടി വി സോ ഇറ്റ്സ് മെയിൻലി ബിക്കോസ് ഓഫ് ദി ഗാമ ഐ സി So, we replaced the Gamma IC in this T-Con board with a new one. The old faulty Gamma IC, here you can see. This is the power supply board. Here, already universal U11 56, V56 universal motherboard is installed because of lightning. We replaced the original motherboard already with the universal combo board. because of unavailability of the original motherboard here the universal a uh, universal motherboard u11 motherboard is installed but now the complaint is with the gamma ic related to tcon board of the panel so we replace the tcon ic we replace the gamma ic in the tcon with the new one here you can see the old faulty gamma ic in my hand see we clearly and perfectly installed the new gamma ic using the smd workstation blower we successfully replaced the gamma ic now let's connect the all cables lvds cables and all connections back to the universal motherboard so the complaint with the gamma ic causes a white shading picture and double image sometimes double image and a negative shade on the display now we successfully solved the complaint now let's connect the lvds cable back to the tcon board it's very difficult me to handle camera at one hand and connect the lvds cable using the another hand so now we connected the lvd cable back to the take on board this is the power supply board so now let's turn on the tv before that we need to connect all the connections in the universal board also all sockets we need to connect back to the universal motherboard now we connected all connections back to the universal motherboard see now we connected the lvds cables 12 volt power supply and the ir connections to the universal motherboard now let's turn on the tv Here you can see the replaced gamma ic the faulty one is in my hand now we turn down the tv now the power supply is on now the tv is in standby so we need to release the tv from the standby you can see the red light on the tv so now let's take the remote and release it from the standby and check the picture you can see now the tv is released from the standby you can see that the picture is okay now the picture is clear there is no white shading double image and no mapping issues the ghosting or knitting issue is completely removed now you can see the picture is perfectly okay all colors are correct here you can see everything is perfect and the tv is repaired successfully if you like our channel please don't forget to like share subscribe and press the bell icon for getting further notifications see you in another video with another interesting topics thanks for watching have a nice day